Welcome to the first English and Creative Writing Society Poetry Reading of the Year, kicking off, as Simon just said, a great season of literary events in this bookshop. Um, during the summer, we were saddened by the loss of a prospective student. Matthew Gilbert was 19 years old when he was diagnosed with terminal cancer. He was a keen poet who was to become a member of the English and Creative Writing Society um, course. Sorry. Um, his family have described him as an inspiration who was able to stay positive during his illness, something that I'm sure many of us would find very difficult to do. He created a list of 27 things he wanted to achieve before he died. These included seeing the Kaiser Tubes playing live, visiting Stonehenge, and having a ninja-themed party. One of the most important of these, however, was to become a published poet, and this dream was realised with the Gilbert Collection. A collection of 10 of his poems and 10 poems from other male writers with proceeds going to the Every Man Cancer Charity. Matthew himself said the collection that it's to partly to provide male writers with a platform, partly to raise money and raise awareness for every man, but overall to celebrate humanity and its potential beauty, compassion and unselfishness. Getting to a certain number, such as 80 or 90, is counting. That is what an abacus is for. Making the most of the time you have, that is living. That is what people are for. So, enjoy the anthology, but more vitally, enjoy your life. Unfortunately, we did not get the opportunity to meet Matthew, but we can know some of him through the words he left behind. According to his family, he did not wish to be mourned, so we'd like to take this opportunity to celebrate the life of this extraordinary young man and the friend we could have had through the reading of some of his works. The English and Creative Writing Society and the department would like to dedicate this evening to Matthew, and here we have some of our members to read some of his work. Discs in the City, and it's based on an interpretation of the painting by Fernand Lager. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm a small man. Some people see me in black and white. Yet I sit on my balcony on summer nights and see things the way only I can. The multicoloured melody, colourful sounds, all the different shapes and sizes. I watch the disc menagerie that rises unto a place that's out of bounds. The discs bear sweet scents of strawberry and banana. I smell this neon nirvana as if it was the finest incense. There is so much more to life if you open your eyes to this rainbow revolution. It is the urban solution to the problems of prejudice and lies. This imaginary display may mean nothing to you, but it's all I have in a concrete inferno in which everyone feels low, so I see the world for a brightly coloured view. Life's about the internally bright, and I bathe beneath the rainbow sun every day of my life as opposed to paint fun. What a pity it would be to see the world in black and white. This poem, the, the Reaper. I waded into water until totally submerged, nor but ice and death and despair. I welcomed the coldness with warmth. I felt frosty waste, let it feed upon my flesh and bite at the brittle bone, tearing like a terrier. The sky burning, ice stars touched the velvet, dark velvet, and with it there came a raven, dark and shadowy, as infinite but outlined in an inferno. It hit the water, ghosts like a no break or ripple. I felt the chill of the darkness, the heat of the fire. The feathers in the fire and the flesh from the head gave way to reveal grotesque and charred skull. It screamed, pierced my soul, it poisoned my heart, my mind, my eternity. Its talons raked at my thoughts, carried me onto the water, into the sky above, and all my feelings were gone, forever flying, forever falling, in the screaming silence on a fire and ice and cold. This is Matthew Gilbert's poem, Political Picnic. Come everyone to a political picnic. King Jong Il says, if you want to do it, do it. Adolf Hitler, he's over there with the kosher meal, over with Stalin showing off his sex appeal. Oh, and have you met Lenin? He's been finding cheap labour. Proletariats have been in. If I were you, I wouldn't go there. There's a fight going on, Bush versus Blair. General Gaddafi says, hey, break it up. I believe in peace for everyone. Don't fight my buttercups. Hey, it's Bin Laden with his nose in a Bible. He really loves the West, America especially. Christianity is the best. Gee, have I missed out Saddam? He's that friend the liberal from Iraq, or is it Iran? And over there drowning his sorrows in beer is Sian Kennedy, who says, if only Castro were here. This is uh, Matthew Gilbert's poem, <coughs> Prometheus's Revenge. Poseidon crawls out screaming on the beach, burning alive in a back liquid prison, suffocating in the oily corpse of his oceanic children. 
Pan no longer plays his merry tunes on the flute, just songs about a different past before the Midasir turned his forest into gold and left him dust and despair. Hermes flies through a mistier sky, cesspool for beasts of nuclear fire, below, below yet somehow above him on the ground. From up in the crag Prometheus grins, it is a good thing I have give, gave the humans fire. Now the gods are experiencing the wrath of mankind. This is Matthew Gilbert's poem, A Tribute to Leaf. Here I am on the deep blue sea. The Valkyries will never catch me. The sea may batter my boat, but not my heart or the courage in my gut. Greenland, like Jotunheim, on frozen land we cannot dine. Freya may starve my body, but not my brain, whilst tear is just a relentless bane. Long we've searched for lands that are warm, like Charlemagne's locusts, the Saxons swarm. Those pigs and murderers kill and take. From years of ignorance we wake. I must take ale and mead, me and my men must drink and feed to search for further lands, against the famine take a stand. I swear that as long as Thor's oak stands I will live and travel to distant lands. Thank you to Truan, Dan, George, Liam and Tom for reading those poems to us. Um, we did intend to have some copies of the book to sell tonight, but they seem to have gotten lost in the post, unfortunately. So if you'd like to order a copy um, from the Just Given website, uh, just Google Matthew Gilbert Just Given, and you can order yours for a minimum £5 donation, which will go to Every Man Charity. So our next poet of the evening is Marcus. <laughs> 